Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Daly um, coming on for math. Today we're going to work on some 2D shapes. So we're going to review some terms that go with shapes on some anchor charts. Um, we're going to review some um, features of some different shapes and then we're going to do some activities where we talk about the features of those shapes and try and match the shapes. And we will do some shapes that have similar features together and some sorting, okay? So that's our goal for today. It's all about shapes. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen with you. And the first thing we're going to do is go over our anchor charts. So, um, this will be my first virtual lesson on shapes, but some of the students that are in my class at school um, have done these shapes before. So for some of you, it might be a review and for some of you, it might be new material. So what I want to do is make sure that I go over everything just in case it is new material for you. Um, so we're going to start with the first three terms. So the first thing that we want to know about a shape is that each, most shapes, not every shape, but most shapes have sides. So a side is one of the line segments that make a flat shape. So you can see here where this arrow is. And let me go ahead and make um, my spotlight. I'm going to turn my spotlight on. Hopefully it will work. So Side. Here, so here is my spotlight um, pointing to this side here. So this is one side. In this shape, there are four sides because there's one here, here, here and here, okay? A side, like I said, is a line segment, so we know it has two dots at the ends, and it makes up one side of a flat shape, okay? That's why we call it a side. An angle is a shape made with two or more sides or edges meet, okay? So here you'll see another funny, another word you could use for angle when you're looking at shapes is a corner. So where the corner is, that's where you will see an angle. It's where the two sides come together and meet. So two edges or sides meet at this corner. It's called an angle. It kind of looks like the word angel, but it's angle, okay? Two sides meet to form an angle. Um, the next one you will see are two sides that go together. So these are parallel sides. Parallel sides are sides that are away they're always the same distance apart and will never touch. So the way that I like to teach my kids this is because Ms. Dale is all about movement. Parallel sides you can make with your arms, okay? So parallel sides can go up and down like this. See how my arms are not touching, but they're going the same way up and down. Or they could go side to side like this. Again, my arms are not touching, but they're going the same way, okay? Those are parallel lines. They have to be going the same direction and they're not touching each other. So in this shape here, this square, you can see there's two sets of parallel lines. There's these ones that the arrows are pointing to, but then the top and bottom are also parallel to each other because they're going the same direction, okay? So that, so far we have a side, an angle, and we have parallel sides, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is a vertex. A vertex is another fancy way to say corner, okay? It's where a point where two or more sides or edges meet. So this shape is a 3D shape, it's called a cube, and you can see that there are three sides all touching on this point here in the middle. That point, that dot, that corner is called a vertex, okay? It's where all the sides come together at one point, vertex. The next word is a face. It's not like our face, it's the face of a shape. So here's our cube again, and this flat side, you'll see it's a little bit darker red where my spotlight is. This flat side is called a face. It could also be a curved side, so if you had a sphere, the curved side of that shape could also be called a face, okay? It's just the flat part. And then the edge is the same as the side. Edge and side are the same, except for edge is when you have a 3D shape. So the edge is where two flat faces come together and meet and make that corner, okay? So it's a line segment where two faces meet together. So the two sides, the two flat faces come together at this 
edge, okay? So those are all different, whoops, sorry. Those are all different characteristics of shapes, different features of shapes that we will talk about when we do our practice problems. Um, the next anchor chart is going to go over some different shapes and what those features that we just talked about look like on that shape, okay? So we're gonna start with 2D shapes and then we'll go over some 3D shapes later. So the first shape that I'm gonna look at, and I'm gonna pull this down so you can see a little bit better. Here's my first shape where my spotlight is. And a lot of us are very familiar Circle. With this. It's called a circle, right? A circle is just one continuous line. It has an all curved side and it has no angles because it doesn't have any straight sides that meet together, okay? So one continuous circle, okay? At home, I want you guys with your finger to go ahead and make a circle in the air. Ready? Circle. Very good. Remember, circle is round and it doesn't have any corners or sides because it doesn't have any straight lines. All right, here's our next shape. Anybody know what this shape is? Yeah, great job. This is a square, okay? A square has four equal sides, which means all the sides are the same length. It has two sets of parallel lines. So remember we said parallel lines go up and down. So let me switch to my pen. Parallel sides go up and down the same direction. So these two are parallel and then these two are parallel together, okay? Parallel lines go side to side without touching, okay? And then this shape also has four right angles. Right angles is a fancy way to say 90 degrees. So that means that these corners go straight across like this. So it has one, two, three, and four, okay? Four right angles. This shape is called a square, okay? Square. All right, let's move on to our next shape. It's very similar to a square. It's called a rectangle. Can you guys say that at home? Rectangle. Beautiful job. A rectangle also has four sides, but they're not equal. You can see it has two short parallel lines and then two long parallel lines. That's what makes it different than a square. The sides are not the same size. It has two sets of equal sides, so these two short sides are the same size, and these two long sides are the same size. As two sets of parallel, just like the square. So if I were to, again, draw, we have parallel lines here. These two are parallel. And then these two, sorry, that's a little wonky, but this one and this one are parallel, okay? And then just like our square it has four sets of right angles so i have an angle here one here one here and one here okay what shape is this beautiful a rectangle great job okay now i'm gonna move this up and you'll see that my right angles have stayed on because i want to talk about that for a minute this shape is a triangle now this triangle also has angles, but they are not right angles because a right angle must go straight up and down, straight up and straight across, okay? It makes what's called 90 degrees. So this would be 90 degrees where it's straight line across, straight line down. This little box here, you can make a square in, okay? So for example, if you look at my rectangle, if I were to draw two more lines, this would make a square. That's why it's called a right angle. So let me go ahead and clear. This triangle has angles, right? It has a spot where it comes to a point, but they don't make a square. If I were to draw two more lines on there, it wouldn't be a square, right? So it has three angles, not right angles, just angles, three angles. It doesn't have any parallel sides because all these sides touch together. And it does have three sides. So that's how we know it's a triangle. The word tri means three. And then this word angle 
we know that, right? Angle is this part here. So it's called a tri, meaning three angle shape. Three angles, three sides, okay? Three angles and three sides, triangle. All right, you guys are doing a great job. We're almost done with going over it and then we'll do some practice. So this is called a right angle. This is a right angle because it also has three sides. It doesn't have any parallel lines because they're all touching. But instead of just three angles, one of these angles is a right angle. If you can see where my arrow is, I'll put my spotlight back on. Um, one of these angles is a right angle. These ones are just curved angles, but this one is a right angle. So we call it a right triangle, okay? It has two acute or small angles and then one right angle. And our last shape we're gonna talk about today is called a rhombus. Can you guys say that word? Rhombus, very good. It's a fancy word for diamond. Looks just like a diamond, right? If I were to turn that shape upside down, uh, well, not upside down, but if I were to turn it to the side, it would look just like the shape that we know as a diamond, right? Okay, it's a little wonky drawing, but diamond and rhombus, they look very similar. So a rhombus also has, whoops, sorry. A rhombus also has four equal sides. It has two sets of parallel because this one and this one are parallel, they can't touch. And then this one and this one are parallel, okay? So two sets of parallel lines. It has two opposite acute angles, that means they're less than 180 degrees, and two opposite obtuse angles that are the same degrees. They're more than 180, okay? Or more than 90, I'm sorry. Acute is less than 90, obtuse is more than 90, excuse me. So we have two opposite obtuse angles that if we measured, they would be the same number and same with the acute. That's called a rhombus, okay? Rhombus. All right, how are we feeling about shapes? Pretty good? Okay, so let's do some practice. To my mouse. The technical things happening on my computer, sorry. Okay, so here is our first problem. Actually, here is our first problem. So, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we're going to look at this shape and we're gonna pick something to go over this lattice panel. So we're looking for the shape that fits over it. So here are our choices. Who remembers what this first one is called? Very good, it's a rectangle. And then the middle one that we made with our finger is called a circle, beautiful. And then our last one down here is called a square, very good. I want you with your finger to touch the shape that should go over that picture. Which one goes over that picture to fit? Beautiful job. The square fits perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to answer some questions together. So the first question I have is how many sides? And you can see in the question it's giving me a hint as to what a side is. So this little arrow is pointing to this side of the square. So how many are there? Well, I'm going to take my arrow and I'm going to count. One, two, three, and four. So how many sides do I have? Four, beautiful. With your finger, can you touch the number four? Great job. Four. So now it's asking me how many of those sides are equal? How many are the same size? So on a square, I know that all the sides have to be the same in order for it to be a square. So how many sides do we have that are equal? Yeah, it's four, right? It's the same number of the sizes that we have. So can you, with your finger again, touch the number four? Good job. Four. All right. Our next question, number four, is asking how many sets of parallel sides are there? So we don't want to know 
how many sides there are, we want to know how many sets. That means how many two lines together make up parallel lines. So if I look at this shape here and I use my marker, I'm going to switch my color so you can see it. Um, I know that this line and this line are parallel. So that's one set. Let me switch to a different color. Um, this side and this side are parallel. So that's two, right? I have the red ones and the green ones. So how many sets do I have? With your finger, I want you to touch the number for how many sets that I have. How many sets do I have? Very good, two, because I have the red one and then I have the green one. It takes two lines to make one set of parallel lines. Very good. All right, number five, how many angles are there? So how many angles are in this shape? Angles, remember, are where two sides come together to form a point or a corner. How many do I have on this shape? Let's see, I have one here, one, two, three, and four. Good counting, guys. Can you, with your finger, touch the number four? Beautiful job. Four. So my next question is, how many of those angles are acute? Now remember, I'm going to look at this picture to help me remember what that word means. Acute means it's smaller than 90 degrees. So remember 90 is our corner edge like this, straight up and straight across. Acute would mean it would have to be smaller than that 90. Do we have any that are smaller than 90? No, right? All of these are 90. They all would make a square in the corner if I were to do this, right? They all make this square. So if these are all 90, do I have any acute angles? No, so can you touch the number for, if I don't have any, what number do I use? Very good, zero. And if I said that they're all right angles, does that mean I have any that are bigger than 90? No, right, it's zero for that one too. So our last zero. question says, how many right angles do we have? So let me see if I can line this back up to where I was. Oops. Okay, so I said all of these are right. So how many right angles do I have? One, two, three, and four. Beautiful job. Can you touch the number four for me? Awesome. Four. All right. Our last question for this shape says, what is it? What shape is this? So let me make this bigger so that you can see my choices. Hopefully I can do it without messing it up. Beautiful. All right, what shape is this? Is it a rectangle, a circle, or a square? With your finger, I want you to touch the answer. What shape is this? Beautiful, it is a square. You guys are so good at this. All right, we're going to practice two more together. Are we ready? Here is our next shape. So first things first, we need to figure out which one fits on there. So with your finger, touch the shape that fits onto that picture. Which one fits on the seed packet? Beautiful job. You are so right. This one fits perfectly. Okay, how many sides do we have? Let me zoom in. And if you watched my lesson on perimeter, this is just like doing perimeter when you count the sides. You wanna go around to each side and put a line to make sure you don't miss any. So I have one, two, three, and four. Beautiful counting, four sides. Can you touch the number four with your finger? Beautiful job. Miss Daly was mixing. Four. I was say. Okay, next question. How many equal, how many sets of equal sides are there? So not just how many sides, how many sets. Now remember, for a set, you have to have more than one. So I'm going to use one color first, and then we'll move to the next color. So can you show me two sides that are the same length? 
beautiful. So here be this side and this side are the same length. So that's one set. Let me switch my marker to another color. This side and this side are also the same length. So that's two, right? So how many sets do I have that are equal sides? Touch the number two. Awesome sauce. You guys are doing a great two. job. And then I want to know how many parallel sides. Well, I did the work for that already, right? Because these green lines are parallel and then these red lines are parallel. So how many parallel lines do I have? Two, good job. Two. All right. My next question is all about angles. The next couple questions are all about angles. Now, a rectangle is just like a square because all of the angles are right angles. They all make that 90 degree that if I were to take my marker and match the sides, it would make a square, right? They all have this 90 degree. So how many angles do I have? Here I put the 90 degree on there. How many do I have? One, two, three, and four. Good counting, guys. Can you touch the number four and put it in the box for me? Beautiful job. Okay, now it wants to know how many are acute. Well, if I said they're all right angles, are any of them, whoops. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. If I said that they were all right angles, are any of them smaller than 90 degrees if they're all right angles? No, right? They can't be because they're all 90 degrees. So can you find the number that tells me I don't have any? Which number tells me I don't have any? Very good, a zero. Beautiful job. Zero. And that means I can't have any that are more than 90 because they're all 90. So I can put a zero here too, right? Beautiful. Zero. And if none of them are less than 90 and none of them are more than 90, then I know that they're all 90. So I need to pick the answer four because there are four right angles. All right. Four. Here's the last question for this one. What is this shape? What is this shape? Is it a rectangle, a circle, or a square? Beautiful job, a rectangle. You guys got it. All right, let's do one more shape together because this shape is easy peasy. What shape is this? Touch it with your finger. Beautiful, yep, it is a circle. Do I have any sides on a circle? No sides, which means zero. I can't have any equal sets of sides and I can't zero. have any parallel sides, right? Zero. If I don't have any sides, do I have any angles? No, right, I can't have angles without sides. So I'm gonna put a zero. 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 And zero. Zero. Oh my goodness, look zero. how that one was. All I need to know is what is this shape called? What is this shape? Can you touch it with your finger? Great job, it is a circle. Awesome job, you guys. Um, I was going to do some comparing shapes, but I think we've gotten enough practice for today, so we'll save that for another lesson. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. A fun activity you can do at home is going around your house and practicing finding these different shapes of things in your house. For example, if you have a clock hanging up, that's a circle or your TV might be a rectangle. Um, you can look all over your house and find different shapes. I'll see you guys on your next lesson. Bye.